pre-body diagram, you have to show all the forces acting on the body, number one. Number two, you have to show the velocity vector direction, acceleration vector direction, net force. And finally, you have to explain the scenario, the problem, represent Newton first law or the second law. Remember, Newton first law, the net force is zero. And Newton's second law, there is a net force. So let's get it started. So first one, a rightward force is applied to a box. All right, so let's draw a box. Mm -hmm. To push it across the floor. Okay, so there is a applied force to push it applied to push it across the floor. So there is a applied force with a constant speed. All right, so speed is constant means uh, speed is constant means the speed is constant means the acceleration is zero. That means that FA and FF balance out. Okay. Don't forget to um, put uh, the normal force and the gravitational force. They are equal in magnitude. I don't. I do not have room. So. Uh, so they are equal in magnitude. So Newton first law tell us that if you use the Newton first law, you will see that the Fn is equal in magnitude with Fg, but opposite in direction. So at the y direction, that force is zero. Fa on the other hand is equal in magnitude with Ff, but opposite in direction. So at the x direction, that force is zero. So the net force is zero. That means this is Newton first law. The scenario number one represent Newton first law. Let's move to the scenario number two. Okay. Let me erase a little bit. Scenario number two. A rightward force is applied to a dresser. So a rightward force is applied to a dresser. So rightward force. This is I'm gonna call applied force. Okay? A rightward force is applied to a dresser. To accelerate to right. Whoa. So this box is accelerating. Accelerating to the right direction. Okay. across the bad bedroom floor okay so acceleration is right velocity is also right it's moving to the right force is also right what do you know about force you know about force that if you know the direction of the acceleration you know the direction of the force if acceleration is to the east force is to the east if acceleration is to the west, force is to the west. You know the direction of the acceleration. You know the direction of the force because acceleration and force are the same direction. So then there is a net force. There is a net force. Huh. Then this one must be smaller. Then this must be Newton's second law. All right, we are done with problem one and two. Now let's do problem three. Let's read it. A rightward moving car is skidding to stop. Rightward moving car, okay. So rightward moving car. Be careful. 
rightward moving car rightward moving car means velocities to the right okay a rightward moving car is skating to stop hmm. so then acceleration must be opposite direction because slowing down and and stop with a locked wheels okay then the force must be their direction then there must be some net force okay so the force is that direction so there is only one force so that is uh, that is this direction ff and this is fn and this is fg and this is newton's second law is moving upward a football is moving upward okay what does that mean that means we have to draw a football good and right what toward the peak of the trajectory ignore air resistance so we have to draw first check the velocity velocity is direction upward and rightward so this and this okay velocity is direction acceleration is this direction so force must be this direction then there must be some net force there's might be some net force okay so net force is this direction and that's it that's it so this is newton's second law all right number five the cabin of a small freight elevator is secured to a motor by a cable and moving upward with a constant speed constant speed means acceleration is zero let's write it down okay so what are we talking about A cabin of a small freight elevator is secured to motor by a cable is moving upward with a constant speed moving upward moving upward F tension FG Alright so the velocity is up since acceleration is zero force is zero Okay, net force is zero. So Newton first law. Okay, tension force is the force on the rope. Okay. All right, let's check out the next one. A downward moving sky driver is falling with a constant speed. Okay. A downward moving skydiver is falling with a constant speed. So let's see. A downward moving skydiver. Uh, moving, uh, downward moving. So velocity is down. Let's put it down. Velocity is down. It's falling with a constant speed. Constant speed means acceleration is zero. Then the net force is, of course, is zero. Okay. If net force is zero, this is Newton's first law. If there is no force, there is no acceleration and it's moving down, then, then a downward moving skydiver, then both forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Okay?